Because what many are finding difficult to understand, you say, yes, one person could terrorize hundreds of people. But it is the details emerging of the manner in which that the people who finally ended this siege took about one hour to bring it to a close, to bring it to an end. And that it was 15 or rather seven hours of travel by air, by road, by the wreck squad, the special ops, that really took a long time because the forces that were on the ground were unable to handle this situation. D so it is in terms of the plans being put out there, the availability of transport to get them there on time, and the planning that the debrief or briefing took them two hours after they'd taken seven hours to get on location. Sophia, there's a lot of speculation about what happened. Yes. And you know, the other thing about our country, and it's a great, it's a good nature, is that when something like this happens, suddenly everybody becomes a security expert. Mm. It takes a long time to execute an operation like this. A long, long time. Because you're, you're safeguarding a lot of things. You're trying to make sure that your entry into that building is not going to accentuate the crisis inside that building. Mm -hmm. You're not sure how many people you're faced with. You're, and at all the time, when you hear about briefings, people are trying to gather as much information on the location, on the motivation, on the type of guns. On the t it's a lot of work that goes into that kind of situation in Granted. order to make sure yeah. that you do not worsen the situation. Correct. Remember, we are talking about young people not armed, probably never seen a gun, never had a gun shot in their lives, huh? um, confronted in the morning, you know. It is a situation like no other, you can imagine. But so le yeah, let's address the issue of the forces. KDF were on the ground, police officers, National Police Service there as well. They were unable to handle this. Rekes code was alerted at 6 a.m. Is it correct that there were challenges to get them from Nairobi to Garissa and that it took a long time? Well, I think, uh, one, different forces do different things. Correct. Okay? I mean, the fact that you're having this and that, I mean, there's, there's many, many issues. That, are, that is why we have different units of the security forces. Mm -hmm. They do different things. There are people that do IEDs. There are people that do rescue operations. That do, you know, it's a whole set of capabilities, yes. so to speak. Mm -hmm. And they do not reside in any one force. That is why at this point we were talking about a multi-agency operation to secure the parameters, to make sure people don't move, to make sure you can rescue people, you can p get people out, to make sure you can combat the people that were in there attacking the students. And there's, there's been a lot of talk about uh, what, what, what was the movement like, which is a logistics thing really. I mean, did you, w w at what point did they move from this point to the other? Now, I don't know that uh, uh, the, the, the IG has spoken to this in terms of the, the way the mobilization takes place because it's an operational detail here and how it took place. It would have been better if they had arrived earlier. They got in there and they, they helped us to, 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 to save more than two-thirds of those students that were holed up in that, in that building. Were there lessons? Of course there were lessons what in lessons? terms of movement. Many lessons. One that terrorists are not foreigners all the time. That's the first lesson. If the profile of the young man who was an upcoming lawyer is anything to go by, that is a Kenyan child anywhere, anytime. And therefore, in terms of access, in terms of profiling, we are looking at our own children. Okay. It means that uh, terrorism is not about poverty and impoverishment all the time, mm -hmm. because this has been the profile. It has been a profile of youth, unemployed, uneducated, you know, easily swayed. This is not the case. Okay. We have learned, I think it has reaffirmed what we have known, that the involvement of the community is critical because these people are either because they are like us, you know, we are told one of them who was pointing out at the students was a Kenyan, lived, was a work, working there, mm -hmm. was, a, was a worker probably in the university or in the, in the Garissa town. They are, they are one of us. And I think the role, the civic duty of every Kenyan, therefore, is to figure out who is your neighbor. And therefore, the initiatives that inform us in terms such as the Nyumbakumi initiatives are critical if we are going to deal with this situation. And we will get...